Another way that you can communicate with clients is through newsletters. And I want to spend a few minutes on this because I, I think this is really, really critical. This is really important to understand the consistency effect. If you don't consistently communicate with your clients, it will be very difficult to keep them or for them to keep you at the top of their mind. My goal is to help your clients see you as their first, always, and only resource for legal help. That if they have any legal issue, and I don't care what it is, their first phone call is to you. Even if you're a commercial litigation attorney and one of your client's sons uh, or daughters got pulled over for a DUI, I don't care, their first phone call should be to you. Why? Because you're not going to handle the matter, but I want them to see you as a source. That if you can't handle it, you'll find somebody who can. That way you get to cherry pick the cases that you do want to work on instead of clients spreading out their legal work among ten, ten other uh, professionals and you never get the opportunity to do the legal work that you want or to cherry pick the cases that you really work on or that you really want to work on. We all know this. This is a time-tested principle. Out of sight is what? Out of sight is out of mind, right? So if you're not uh, in front of them on a regular, consistent basis, they will forget about you. They will forget your name. They'll forget your face. They'll forget how they met you. They will forget about you. Most attorneys that we worked with have found that newsletters are one of the most cost-effective forms for staying in touch with their clients and referral sources over long periods of time. They also allow you to keep in touch with potential clients. I've had clients, I've had attorneys uh, that have become great clients of mine. In fact, there was a labor and employment attorney that I remember uh, she told me, she said, Stephen, I've been getting your newsletter every single month for eight years. And now I'm finally ready to take my practice to the next level. And I was like, well, thank God I wasn't depending on you to pay my mortgage, right? But she became a really good client. And do you know how much it cost me to send her a newsletter, an electronic newsletter every single month for eight years? Pennies. Pennies a year. It was nothing. It was less, way less money than I spent on Starbucks. Newsletters allow you to keep in touch with current and former clients and also referral sources. I also like newsletters because you can use them to follow up with people when you don't know how to follow up with them. You go to a networking event, and we've all done it, including myself, we've all done it where we go to the networking event and we have some great conversations and we walk out with you know, 5, 10, 15 business cards. And do you know where those business cards are right now? That's right, they're stuck in the corner of your desk collecting dust. Instead of that, newsletters have a great, you have a great opportunity to stay in touch with that person just by the, at the end of the conversation you can say, hey, it was a real pleasure meeting you. I really enjoyed our conversation. Uh, would you mind if I added you to my monthly newsletter? 